In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use Sphere 2. And we're going to have two cameras. Actually, you can have three live cameras going at the same time. But in this instance, we're just going to use two. So first thing we want to do, of course, is launch Sphere 2. So let's go ahead and do that. So now that I'm launching that, right now, it says no visualizer connected. It's going to take a moment for it to connect. And this is my document camera right here. So we'll just go ahead and keep that view. And now if I go to the side-by-side -side mode, and if I just select side-by-side, -side, there's the webcam. So there it is. It's as easy as that. So as long as you're not running another software program and have the document camera uh, occupied by the other program, you can run it in here in a side-by-side -side mode. In fact, let's go ahead and see up here in the upper right-hand corner, it says two cameras. You notice I have three cameras. If I were to click that, that's my third live camera. So now I have all these live cameras going at the same time. And we could even take it a step further. Here's my media file for my media folder. And I could bring in still images. And you notice that I have five windows open right now. And I can actually go up to six windows. So now we have the three top windows of all being live and three down at the bottom of being static images. And you notice that I can resize these. So it's just a matter of clicking and dragging. And also you notice that within the window here, as an example, bottom right area, I have different icons. I have one where I can actually delete that image from out of there. I have another where I can expand that single image and then I can reduce that again. I can have rotate. And here again, you see that the nice part about this is that you can do this to each individual window. So if I wanted to zoom in, there you go, I'm zooming in. Just keep this in mind. The image looks fantastic, but garbage in, garbage out. That just means that if it's a blurred image, it's gonna be blurred. It's not going to automatically autofocus on itself. Here's the other cool thing. You notice that I can now drag the image around if I zoom in. So you cannot do that to the live images, but you can do that to any one of the still images here. So let me go ahead and zoom in on the $5 bill and click and I can drag it around. So why would I do this or why would I want to do this? How about if you just want to look at one particular area of a map or some sort of diagram? Well, now you can zoom right in on that. Again, I'll do this. Select that and hit the plus to zoom in. And here's the other really cool part. If I want to, I can annotate. Now, I can annotate across the entire screen. Let's do that. Even into the live. So what if I had a live image of a science project? And then the still images were uh, different times, meaning that if it was something like, oh, chicken's hatching, uh, here's what the egg looks like, here's what it looks like after 48 hours, and here's what it looks like after 72 hours. But we can always have a live video going uh, continuously, and then the students can actually see, oh, we're so close to it being uh, time for, for the egg to hatch, or whatever it might be. So that's it. I've kept this a little bit longer than what I probably should have, but that's your basics of bringing in additional cameras. And again, just uh, make sure that I'm back here to my select, select my source, select my source, and I could change my cameras, or I could say I only want two cameras. Now it just has two live cameras, or I could just come down to one live camera, and here's the document camera. I want to change it over to the webcam, click source, and now this will be the webcam. So that's it. Thank you.